Eco friendly 3D printed concrete alternatives. Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. 3D printing is the upcoming trend in home improvement and construction. If you want to 3D print anything from a tree for your kit to a house, there are many ways to do it. One of the major requirements for printing anything these days is 3D printer filament. This PLA or ABS filament that we feed into our printers comes at a price and we often run out of it before we know it. Did you know you can make your very own high quality printer filament with material readily available at home? In this video, we are going to discuss all about it because it's easier than you think. Let's look at how. But before starting the video, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get all the latest updates as we are going to make more videos on interesting topics in the future. So if you don't want to miss it, make sure to subscribe to it. Now let's get started. Concrete is one of the most commonly used building materials around the world. It has been used since time immemorial and was probably one of the man's first construction materials. The use of concrete has continued since and it is used in the construction and decoration of buildings, monuments and roads among many other uses. Concrete is formed by mixing cement with water and aggregates gravel. These three components are mixed together to form a strong material that can be shaped or molded into any form we want. Concrete production is one of the major sources of greenhouse gas emissions around the world. Owing to the high heat required to melt all the ingredients together, the UN reports that concrete accounts for about 5% of global man-made carbon dioxide emissions. Replacing concrete where it is currently not needed may go a long way in reducing our carbon footprint in a sustainable manner. 3D printing offers a unique opportunity to do just that. 3D printing concrete is a cheap and efficient way of replacing traditional building material with a sustainable alternative. There are many ways to go about it. Depending on your resources, here is how. The most notable advantage of using home-based 3D printers in a replacement is the high strength and low cost. A 3D printed bridge can easily withstand 10,000 kg of weight without any damage while a normal concrete bridge will not even support 1,000 kg of weight. The construction time for a 3D printed bridge can be as low as 4 hours compared to 40 hours for normal construction. Imagine, we could use this same technology to replace all sorts of conventional materials like wood or steel. It would specially help poorer countries where such techniques aren't readily available. The process of 3D printing with cement has however been a challenge because it's extremely viscous and doesn't stick well to the printer nozzle. The filaments either clogs or rear quickly and you don't get that smooth finish we see in other 3D printed objects. 3D printed concrete alternative Use recycled material 3D printed concrete alternative One way is to use recycled concrete. Glass fiber and fly ash instead of traditional Portland cement for a printed structure such as houses. Fly ash contains 29% silica aluminia, which has a quartz like ceramic matrix. Other ways to make concrete filament include using fly ash, which is like concrete but made with less heat. Our ground granulated blast furnace slag GGBS. GGBS is an industrial waste product that usually contains about 70% calcium oxide and 30% silica dioxide. The calcium monoxide improves the strength, water resistance and abrasion resistance of the resulting cement paste while the silica dioxide reduces viscosity. Other sources of silica can be used in place of fly ash, but they may require more testing because every type of powdered glass reacts differently to heat during 3D printing. Some good candidates are recycled glass or even heavy metal free concrete. Heavy metals produce hazardous lichate and can interfere with the cement curing process. Many 3D printing filaments contain heavy metals, but this issue is easily resolved by using a recycled metal free filament. Heat resistant concrete filament. Concrete is naturally very strong when it hardens because it becomes infused with water molecules. The drying process in making concrete weakens its strength significantly which means that many parts of the world may not be suitable for traditional concrete structures in their hot climate. 3D printing allows us create different types of concrete that are designed to set a lower temperatures without losing its structural integrity or compressive tensile strength compared to traditionally cured concrete. This will open up new opportunities for use in climates with hot temperatures. 
3D printed concrete building systems. Instead of 3D printed hollow structures, the better option may be to print building systems with reinforcing materials like steel or carbon fiber so that it can act as an alternative construction material. This will require further testing with various types of concrete and filament mixtures before it's ready for urban application. Benefits of 3D printing you can print virtually with any material. There are many benefits to 3D printing buildings rather than using traditional construction methods. One of the biggest advantages is that with 3D printing, you can print with virtually any material. This means you are no longer dependent on cement or other kind of rocks. The technology also allows for more customized products since they are printed based on your needs rather than pre-made items. These materials can be used in all kinds of climates and in relatively complex geometries which makes them ideal for building foundations or walls. This was impossible with traditional manufacturing methods. Disadvantages of 3D Printing the use of traditional construction materials causes pollution in multiple ways. Traditional farms of construction involves cutting down trees and harvesting wood, which has an environmental impact due to deforestation. Not only that, but once the trees have been harvested, then they are transported to where they are needed, causing extra carbon dioxide emissions from transportation which leads to an even bigger carbon footprint overall. The next step would be finding a place where the concrete block is being produced, which also causes pollution. Another issue is that cement production can contribute significantly to carbon emissions because it involves burning large amounts of coal to heat calcium carbonate which create lime. The last step in cement production also uses up a lot of energy as limestone needed to be heated at 1450 degrees Celsius until it becomes liquid enough to be poured into molds for making bricks or blocks. Not available for large scale. 3D printing technology has advanced significantly in recent years but still has some limitations making it better suited for smaller objects like jewelry rather than large scale objects like houses or skyscrapers. Even though there are several 3D printers available on the market, none of them would be able to print a house in one piece. There is still a long way to go in terms of 3D printing technology before this could become possible and there are many obstacles that need to be dealt with first. Lack of experience Lack of experience regarding 3D printing process causes problems where parts of buildings or entire buildings get destroyed during construction. Dealing with different weather conditions also causes major issues which means these buildings get damaged easily. In addition, it's difficult for people living in these buildings without proper insulation due to the high heat flow through the vaults. There was an attempt at building a printed concrete alternative using a robot-assisted layer-by-layer deposition approach by researchers from ETH Zurich. This system was capable of 3D print full-sized single-family houses and had a concrete spray nozzle mounted on the robot for depositioning the concrete to its designated place. So that's all for it for today's video. I hope you all like this video. Do let us know in the comment box about your favorite part of this video and do recommend us some topics as well on which we want to see the next video in future. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends and family. We'll be back soon with a new video. Till that, keep sporting and take care. Thank you.